I'm going to show you how you can passively farm some airdrops using Kepler wallet on five different chains. So I've summarized all the steps here, but I'm going to go through each one. And the reason why this is interesting and you want to use and stake tokens like Osmo, Atom, Injective, Kuji, and Tia is because we've already seen a couple airdrops, one being Dimension and the other one being just announced today, Saga, that's allocating to these uh, holders, to people that stake these coins on the validator. First, you're going to download Kepler Wallet. So the website is kepler.app. It's the interchain gateway. It lets you do a bunch of things on the on your wallet. This is what the dashboard looks like. So you'll be able to uh, stake your assets. You can even vote on proposals, which is recommended because some airdrops do check and see if you're voting actively using your coins and that ends up being criteria. Generally, that's the first step. And it looks something like this. It'll show you all the different assets that you hold. So I have Tia, Injective Osmo, and a few others staked right now on Kepler Wallet through the staking mechanism. And we're going to go through that. But before that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to locate your Osmo address and go to Simple Swap. So for this, you're going to need about half an ETH or about $1,000 to make the most of it. And you're going to swap it to Osmo here. So once you're on this page, you have the amount that you want to swap in the uh, Osmo that you're going to receive. You're going to go to your Kepler wallet and you're going to copy the address for Osmo down here. So see how it here click Osmo, boom, and you're going to paste that in here. And then you don't have to provide a memo, but I do recommend that you enter an ETH address here so that in case anything happens, your ETH does get returned to you. Now, once it's done, you're going to copy this address and you're going to send ETH to it. So it's like any time you transfer any coin on your MetaMask or any other wallet, you're just going to copy and transfer this amount. And in about five minutes, you end up getting back this much Osmo in your Osmo wallet. So go ahead and do that. Once you get your Osmo on your chain, you're going to want to swap into the different tokens. And so I haven't staked my Atom yet, so I'm going to go ahead and, and click Atom. And I need about 20 Atom is what it said. And 20 Atom is paste that in there. And that gets you 20 Atom. So I'm going to swap that. So you're going to see your Atom now in your wallet right here. But it says it's on osmosis so what you want to do is you want to bridge that back into its normal chain so you're going to click that and it says ibc so we're going to go to ibc send and we're going to send it back to the home chain you're going to do this for every single token you swap from osmosis to the other chain so that could be tia that could be adam like i'm doing here that could be injective but you're going to bridge it back to your home chain and click max and next approve it so once this goes through then you're going to see that i have adam on my home chain which should be right over here boom so next we're going to head to our kepler dashboard and on the left hand side you'll see chains and this is where you can search for chains so if i go ahead and click that type in let's see cosmos here so cosmos is where you can stake your adam and we'll see that there's different validators you can pick from and each one offers a different commission. Find one that has a fairly low commission. I'm going to go with SG1 for this one. I'm going to stake. It's going to say you're taking to top 10. Please consider staking to other. I'm going to continue. So when you do stake, your funds are locked for 21 days. So keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and stake 20 Atom. So you need 0 0.1, 0 0.01 Atom or Point one or 10 cents approve that and once that's in you're now validating and you should be good for airdrops in the future now the only one on this list here that is uh, not on kepler is kuji and for that you're going to want to go to blue.kujira.network is it kuhira i don't know but here it's stake you're going to click stake and you're going to pick one of the validators and go ahead and stake your Kujira, Kujira, whatever it's called. And yeah, that should be good to go. But that's the guide. And here's this, if you want to take a screenshot, these are all the steps summarized. And it tells you the minimum amount you likely want to have in each one. And you're good to go here. So that's it. That's how you can start qualifying passively for some airdrops using Kepler Wallet. So check it out. And if you like this, hit the like, uh, save your bookmarks if you need it again in the future and give me a follow. I'm going to be doing more of these videos.